another exciting recommendation for you today to buy a pre-loved Louis Vuitton bag over one of the new Louis Vuitton bags. I really honestly think that the older version is much better than the new version. Before I get started, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who asked about my dress in the last Louis Vuitton recommendation video. That dress is actually from Nasty Gal and it was on sale because I'm all about buying things on sale. <laughs> thought I'd just let you know today that I'm wearing this cute little double cardigan situation. It's from Banana Republic. It is double lined. It's a unique piece with it being double layered and especially having a collar. Right now those collared cardigans and collared sweaters are really coming back. Banana Republic has kind of fallen off the face of the earth for the past few years, but they've really made a comeback with some of their new items. This particular sweater is actually a few years old. They always have great quality cardigans, sweaters, and things like that that are on sale. I definitely recommend buying on sale only because they frequently change seasons and put a lot of items on sale. I also recommend going to their outlets because I do buy a lot of Banana Republic from the outlet and on sale. I have paired it with some brown trousers that are BCBG, but they're actually thrifted. Definitely in favor of thrifting over buying brand new, if you can. Now I am very excited to share with you one of my favorite bags from my collection. It is from my favorite brand, Louis Vuitton, and I've had this bag for five years now. I remember when I was first looking for this bag, we were in Hawaii, the store there didn't have it, and they called all around and couldn't find it anywhere in store. I had to pre-order it, and I've loved it ever since it's been in my possession. The weird thing about this is that I never see this on the street. Like, I've never seen anyone with this bag. As we all know, the Neo Noe is a very popular Louis Vuitton bucket bag that everyone loves. For years and years and years, it's been a fan favorite. Well, let me introduce you to my love. This is the Louis Vuitton Lock Me Bucket Bag. And she is so beautiful. The color is plum. And it's almost as if mixing a maroon and a purple together. And I think plum is the perfect name for this bag's color because it looks truly like a plum color. It has silver hardware throughout. A nice little key cloche here that you can get hot stamped if you'd like. I left mine to the original um, silver hot stamping on the front that says Louis Vuitton. It's got the silver heat stamp here that states Louis Vuitton made in Paris. It has drawstrings on the side, a lock closure that you twist to open. It has an adjustable strap and it has one large compartment. And it can expand pretty large when you undo these side drawstrings. The sides can then also come out. So if you like to carry a lot, this bag will definitely work for you. Let me give you some dimensions. This Lock Me Bucket has a height of 10 and a half inches. The width is six inches and the bottom length is 10 inches. The strap that I have it set on right now is the shorter drop, about 11 inches. Let's do it on the back side. So if we go off the back side because it's really sturdy so it's standing upright, it's 10 and a half inches when it's set to the shortest drop setting. Let me show it to you before I change it because I am 5'9", so I'm on the taller side. And this is where the shorter setting hits me. Below the hip. And then if you want to make it more of a crossbody type bag. You just undo the buttons. There's two buttons that will connect at the lower ends for the shorter length. And then if you can see <laughs> the two buttons here that will connect if you want to shorten. And I guess you don't even have to connect them because you can go even further past those buttons for about another inch. <clears throat> but if you don't want them to move, then go ahead and fasten the buttons. Then it'll hit at a lower, 
like mid thigh. Yeah, it'll hit about mid thigh. Let me put it on this side so you can see how much lower that is. Of course, that will allow for crossbody. Now, when I wear crossbody, I'm very small chested, so I don't have to worry too much about that taking up space. So I am 5'9", but I have very <laughs> small chest, and so it, it fits pretty smoothly right here across, and that's where it sits. So even if you're shorter, but you have more of a busty figure, it'll probably hit around that same size for you if you do crossbody. But if you're shorter, then the drop length of the longer setting may be too long, which is fine because you can definitely shorten it again. And I actually think it's cuter on the shorter length because when the strap is doubled up, it's much easier to see that beautiful ballerine pink trim or glazing, I guess you would say. I also love the fact that it's got these rings on the side that have the straps. So you can find all sorts of accessories to dress up your bag or even to carry your bag differently. What I had been doing, since chains were so big last year and just lots of metallics in general, I found a really cute chain just on Amazon for um, purses specifically that you can attach to decorate your bags. And so I had actually been carrying mine handheld like this or like this. Sometimes I would let it just hang and decorate the bag like this. Now this strap is not removable, but it is adjustable. Since I gave you a nice tour of this beautiful Lock Me Bucket bag, let me just give you a few reasons why I think this one is a much better bag to go for than the Neo Noe. The obvious reason will be price point. You can buy this bag pre-loved right now anywhere from $1,200 to $1,800 on average. Of course, you could probably find it cheaper or more expensive just depending on the condition that the bag is in. The Neo Noe starts at $230 and the price just goes up from there depending on what material you want and what color combination you want. And that's for the MM size, which is comparable to this size. If price is not your concern, I have some other reasons why you still may want to consider this bag first. The way that you open the Neo Noe is by drawstring only. So you lack a little bit of security when it comes to the bucket bag. This one, as you saw earlier, has the lock closure. And it's very easy to do with just one hand. Unlock it and you're in the bag. With the Neo Noe, it has a drawstring closure, kind of like the drawstrings on the side of this bag. So you really can't adjust it too well with one hand. I guess you could open it easily, but you wouldn't be able to close it back. So you can't really get in and out of the bag with just the drawstring closure with one hand. A lot of times you have to bring the bag to the front, use both of your hands in order to get what you need. So it's not the most functional. I would say it's not really mom friendly because we're always lacking hands. I think that this bag has a much easier opening and a much secure closure too with the lock. Another thing I didn't like about the Neo Noe is that it has a divider in the large section of the bag. The Lock Me does not. The Lock Me bucket is just one main compartment and if I want to have more organization within the bag I can definitely get a bag organizer and create those sections that I need for myself. With the Neo Noe, it has the divider already in there and I just feel like that takes away from a true bucket bag. A bucket bag is kind of like a tote bag to me. You're supposed to just be able to throw in all your things and have them wherever they may land. <laughs> that way you can fit so much in there because you don't have the sections and dividers already established for you. You just fit everything where it needs to go for you. Another thing about the interior of the Neo Noe is that it has the one large pocket just like the lock me bucket but it is sewn in it's permanently sewn in so let me show you how the pocket is in the lock me bucket let me take out the stuffing and spare your ears inside it has one large slip pocket here in the front and then it has a zipper pocket here in the back 
this whole thing can flip out which I love because you can really make sure that your bag is clean. You can spot clean it if you need to. You can dust it off if crumbs get in there. So I think that it's really convenient to be able to take this large slip pocket in and out, especially when it comes to keeping your bag clean. And that is the interior of the bag. You can see it's very roomy, especially without any divider taking up space. The Lock Me Bucket comes in calf skin with a suede interior. And depending on what color bag you get, your interior may vary as well. The Nia Noe comes in various materials. And again, the starting price is $2,030 for the canvas bag. This one you can get much cheaper and it is leather. It's durable leather. It's soft, but at the same time, it's very tough. For quality of materials, <laughs> you're definitely getting more bang for your buck with the Lock Me Bucket. Now, one of the other main things that I really love about this bag over the Nia Noe is that not many people have it. That's the crazy thing. I think that this is a much better bag as far as quality, as far as design, and because it's an older model, not many people have it. Even during the time that this was released, it was so hard to get my hands on. So I just love the fact that I've never been out and seen anyone with this. I don't think I've even seen anyone on social media or anything with this bag other than when I've literally gone in and typed in because I have looked for um, the black one considering getting the black one so unless I'm actually actively searching for this bag I really don't see many people with it I love that the lock me is still available but now it comes with this big pouch on the front I just don't think that it's kind of my style I think that it makes the bag look a little more casual, which is fine if that's the look that you're going for. Bucket bags, just because of the way that they're shaped and everything, they already can have kind of a casual connotation to them. So I was looking for something that looked a little more upscale. And so that's why I love the fact that this had all leather and then it had this beautiful cloche in the front. And then the silver hardware to me was just an added bonus because I think that the colors that they've chosen to make this bag in all look really beautiful with silver. Although gold hardware is my favorite, this is one of the bags that I really appreciate the silver hardware on. If you can, search the pre-love market for the Lock Me Bucket Bag. I think that Louis Vuitton really did such a great job with this. I really wish that they would have continued. I do see that they have changed the design of the Lock Me Bucket as it is right now. Maybe, you know, as they kind of continue to update things and go back to old designs and incorporate the new with the old, maybe we'll get something like this again. Until then, I definitely think it's a good idea to search the pre-love market because it is a bucket bag and Louis Vuitton has always kept bucket bags in their collection so I know that this will always be in style even if it's not brought back in the exact same design. Although I think that the Nia Noe is an absolutely gorgeous bag, the Louis Vuitton Lock Me Bucket is a much better choice. It's so much more functional to be able to have the lock closure, the cinchable sides on both sides, an adjustable strap, a pocket that comes out of the bag and no kind of divider or built-in organizer already in the bag. This is a much better bag for your buck. It's already going to be way cheaper and the quality is just absolutely wonderful. I've had mine for over five years now. I love it. I will never get rid of this bag and it's one of my favorites. I really hope that you consider these things. If you've been looking at the Nia Noe, please consider the Louis Vuitton Lock Me Bucket. If you already have this bag, let me know how you like it. If you're searching for your next bag, but you haven't narrowed it down yet, be sure to check out this next video so that you can know what to buy instead of the Neverfull. It's a game changer. If you love videos on designer bags like these, make sure that you subscribe because that's what I talk about here along with affordable fashion. Thank you so much for your time and your support. It means the world to me. I can't wait to see you in my next video.